Hello, hello, and welcome to Earthrise Tarot. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a general tarot love reading for my Libras in Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, this is a timeless reading, it's whenever you come across it. And it is a general reading, so it won't resonate fully with every single person who comes across it. Please always take what does resonate and leave what doesn't for somebody else. When I'm saying this is how you feel about someone, this is how they feel about you, or anything I'm describing, if you feel like the roles are reversed and it's actually the other way around for you, that's fine. Please go ahead and reverse the roles. And although this is a timeless reading, I am recording it in Libra season, so very happy birthday to all of my wonderful Libra sons. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a fabulous year. So... Libra, I am going to go straight into a spread for you today regarding, uh, well, a love reading regarding the person who comes through um, for you today. I'll get lots of detail, ask lots of specific questions, find out as much as we can for you. So, for my lovely Libras, with their love reading for today, you get the top six cards for the spread, please. If you're new to the channel, then huge welcome. Thank you so much for trying me out. I really appreciate it. If you're a returning sub subscriber, then thank you so much for all your amazing support. I'm so happy to have you back again. All right. Wow, okay. Well, it starts off, Libra, with some confusion, mainly on the person who's coming through on their side. Uh, maybe about, it. the first thing I got was that you're very sure about who this person is for you in your life. You're very um, secure in your idea of them. They are not, like they're all over the place. They don't know what to do. They don't know what this means, but it looks like that progresses. Um, just the first few cards I've got here, the reading, but it does look like some sort of clarity is coming to them. Uh, let's see at the, the bottom of the first deck. Um, for anyone who hasn't been, been here before, I use three decks for the spread, for the, um, the layer, three layers of the spread, and then I will go through and clarify it further as we need. So the bottom of the first deck that I'm using today, Libra, you have the tower. Okay. Uh, this could be to do with someone's um, career. Uh, they might be be suffering some sort of loss when it comes to their sense of stability, um, which may be leaving them... It's, it's also getting an element of denial about the situation that they're in or, um, or how things are going to go moving forward this could be it's like someone who's ha suffered a major um a major issue has come up in their um their career for example i know this is a love reading but this obviously is something that's affecting the love connection that we're here today about um but it's like they've had a major issue come up when it comes to their finances and they've just kind of tried to ignore it maybe a little bit of um ostrich sticking their head in the sand kind of thing and not paying attention to how much of a fallout that issue is actually going to cause um it's just a little bit of yeah i'm getting denial and also there's something here that really needs someone's attention when it comes to finances um because because it's it may be that one person in the connection was expecting um or had an idea that things would be progressing very well it's it's like as far as one person knows everything's going to plan and um everything is going to be paying off and it's like in the meantime the other person has lost their job and they haven't told their partner is is kind of the first message that i'm getting they want to kind of play, someone wants to play happy families or just have, enjoy, um, they just want to focus on good times because they feel like 
it will cause conflict to kind of address the elephant in the room. Mm. Mm, there's also something here about someone misses someone and is wanting uh, there to be a positive future with that person, but they know that the other person is going to, maybe you Libra, is going to need answers or is going to expect um, someone to be straightforward with them, potentially about answering questions about a third party or answering questions about, well, yeah, but what about that person you were dating? What about them? If this is someone returning to you or wanting to return to you Libra and focus on the future, it's like they want to gloss over um, anything that happened previously. Okay. Let's carry on. So I can get the second layer for the spread for Lira, uh, Libra today, please. The top six cards for Libra. Oh, we've got the same card coming out on top of itself from the first two layers. Okay. And the bottom of the second deck, we now have the Ten of Wands. That's a lot of pressure. Mm. I'm getting this, this message about expectation as well. Someone might here might feel like... They have to um, appear as in their, as if they're in a better financial situation than they actually are, but they're doing that because they feel like that's the only way that, um, for example, you Libra, obviously reverse the roles if it's the other way around, but it's just say for you to um, consider them. It's like they're seeing someone as very, I would say this person seeing you Libra as being very, high value and also very stable, self-sustained, content. I mean, uh, you're coming through as the nine of pentacles and nine of cups here, which is just someone who has, is very comfortable and is very secure and not just financially, um, but also emotionally. Like you have a good time, you enjoy yourself. Maybe this person knows that you have a great social life and you also have a great, um, home set up, your career's going well, you're always looking great, um, you know, maybe you just like, you just, you have fun when you want to have fun, and then you go home and relax with your pet or whatever, in like comfortable surroundings, you've kind of got a really good setup, and they're viewing you as someone who would um, reject an offer from someone, unless that offer was also very high value, um, it's like someone who, um, is putting a lot of priority into like they this is someone who wants to show off about the things that they have their material things like they want to show off that you know they've got a fancy watch or they've got a fancy car um, and they've got like huge savings and they've got great investments as well this, this is extremely like this person's priority they think that that is the most important thing that they can bring to the table or that would get you to kind of look their way whether that's correct or not you could be like I'm not that it's, you know it's more, it's not just the superficial elements that I'm into but this person is like I really would need to impress Libra with how much money I earn the fancy luxury items that I own and how much I've got in the bank hmm okay so I'm just going to get the third layer for the spread and then we'll go through it. So let me get the top six cards again for Libra, please. Uh, 
for Libra and the person coming through in their reading today. Let's clarify the spread one more time, please. The Ten of Wands and the Tower being so far the bottom two cards of the two decks I've used for the spread so far that kind of gives me the sense of like it's like the straw that breaks the camel's back or it's like someone taking on too much having too much on their plate and then you know or too many plates spinning in the air and it's like a domino effect of they lose their balance and all of those plates come crashing down uh this, this is someone who I don't, I'm dropping so many cliches here but I like, had too many um, they'd spread themselves too thin, like too many fingers and too many pies. Uh, it's it's almost like giving me unsustainable. Oh, as I said that, the Five of Pentacles just fell out of this deck whilst I was shuffling. Um, hmm. All right. Wow, this person is very emotional about you, Libra. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. <laughs> wow. All right, so at the bottom of the third deck, we have the Six of Swords. Wow, and underneath the Six of Swords is the Chariot. Um, those both Both those cards talk about progression but they can they have different connotations so like the um the six of swords is kind of moving on and, and leaving something behind you uh also because it was it was too much um it was too much stress too much turbulence uh it was too difficult but not in like a you gave up on something because it was difficult like it was unnecessary difficult like it, it shouldn't be this hard so like moving on and leaving it behind you now with the tower and the ten of wands I was already picking up on that could have that could have already happened it might have been that you were um interested in this person at some point um but it was just you know what I've already described they were maybe so focused on making money or that this was the most important thing to them they took on too much but i i mean with the six of swords that is moving on wanting like i just want peace <laughs> peace not problems kind of thing um with the chariot that's um a very determined um like charging in to something it's almost like as you're trying to move on uh, potentially and leave this in your past you just want a more peaceful life this person might be charging back in to attempt to get you to continue like seeing the value of this situation It it might be that someone, like this person might have been rushing before with you, Libra. Like they wanted to rush towards offering, like they were offering you a lot before they were able to, um, which caused confusion. It also made you question their integrity. They were, this is like someone trying to... Mm, like after quite quickly meeting someone, maybe even locking you down with uh, a proposal or, you know, taking things very seriously, very quickly, whether that's like living together, proposing, you know, suddenly acting as if you're married after not very long, just really wanting to get, um, be in the future with you immediately. Um, Okay, let's get into the spread, shall we, Libra? So how are you feeling about this person who's coming through today? You have the Emperor, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Wands. 
So the Emperor being the first card that came out as how you feel about them. Um, the Emperor is the Divine Masculine's major arcana. It's a very significant person in your life. But this could also be that you feel like at this point you have to take charge. The Emperor, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's the energy of being the leader, making the decisions um, for the greater good for everyone involved that they have in their care. Um, the Emperor is a leader, can be a father figure, it can also be um, a boss as well. So someone who... If they were like a CEO of a company, they have a lot of people's lives that um, they have to consider when they make decisions for the company because it's going to affect all those people. Um, this is someone who has this sense of responsibility, integrity, like they may, might make difficult decisions as well, but because they believe it to be the best, um, they grab the reins of the situation, they take hold and they make decisive action about it. Um, now with the Six of Swords, Five of Wands, again I was just talking about the Six of Swords is at the bottom of the third deck, about the energy of needing to leave things behind uh, for the purpose of moving in, just for the sake of having a peaceful life. Now you have that again here for how you're feeling about this person. Now, you know, with this connection, this could be someone where the shiz already hit the fan, effectively. Um, there was already a tower moment because someone reached a breaking point. Again, I'm getting this like taking too much on. And uh, it was like a very, like a delicate tower of cards that they over over committed themselves in some way and the whole thing came crumbling down. Um, you may feel like you have had to make the choice to move on and leave this person in your past even if it's a difficult choice because there was this um these this dramas maybe there were other people in the mix and I'm not really getting necessarily like a, so far <laughs> I'm not necessarily getting like a a romantic third party but it could be more like their friendship group or family members were causing issues between the two of you um like as in whether they were influencing the person that you wanted to have a romantic connection with, maybe they were uh, people who were convincing this person to, you know, oh, you should also invest in this project, or we also need you to get on board with this. And again, it was too much, but it could have been that it was like a conflict of interest I'm getting between you and this person, because it's like they were being made to choose between their friends, their family, and you. Now, you feel maybe like as well whether you know either you felt like you needed to take charge and make a decisive uh, move here to like leave this drama in your past it could also be that you feel like you need this person to do that like you need this person to like level up and maybe if you're not coming through as the emperor then you feel like they have the potential to be the emperor in your life but they really need to leave stuff behind them that isn't for their greater good that is um is also born out of uh com competitive like petty energy that they still are engaging with you may feel like you need this person to like drop these people who don't have their best interests at heart and are only trying to cause them problems and also slow down their progress in life um let's see let me get a little bit more mm, which deck do i want this one. Uh, tell me more about how Libra is feeling about this person, please. You have the Page of Swords that just dropped out, and the Five of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. I haven't touched this deck yet. When the Five of Pentacles jumped out when I was shuffling the deck previously, that was a different deck. And then I'm just going to show you this as well, because this is in a different position on the spread. But we have the Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles from two other decks that are on top of each other. We'll get to that shortly. So this combination is very much tied together for your reading today. Now, Libra, the Page of... Yeah. The Page of Swords talks about ideas, um, hearing about things. Now, it could be that you have heard that they have had some sort of calamity or you found out that this person has 
like I was getting from the start when I said about this tower that this was something to do with their security, their stability, their finances. It's like you might be hearing that they've lost it all uh, or they've lost their job or they've lost their house, something like this. But underneath the five of pentacles here as well is the two of pentacles. And again, that talks about trying to do a balancing act, maybe trying to balance too much. Again, you know, too many plates spinning in the air at the same time. So... Oh, wow. Seven of Swords just fell out with the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, this feels also like... <laughs> you feel like this person um, was collaborating with the wrong kind of people. Potentially, you might feel like they got tricked into signing up for some sort of deal or, you know investing in their mate's project or something or buying into something that they were convinced of by friends or family um which was you know they were having the wool pulled over their eyes they were being told it was a great investment purely because that person was trying to use them and it was deceitful basically the projects that they were getting on board about um Tell me more. How, Lib how is Libra feeling about them now? Like emotionally? Because I don't see much emotion here. It's almost like you you feel... Well, the Emperor is the strongest card here. And it's just giving me the sense that... It's either you feel like you have to be your own Emperor at this point And this person is... It just is on the wrong path. And you felt like you've had to leave them behind you. And sort out leveling yourself up. Or it's like, yeah, that's really the strongest thing I'm getting, actually. Um, how is this person, Fe uh, sorry, how is Libra feeling about this person at this point? Ace of Wands in reverse. Oof. It's like, actually, you've, um, you've had the time and the space from this person to see them in a, a different light you're now it, you're approaching this in a, a very head over heart uh sensible responsible approach you're also um direct about how you feel about this like you're you're not messing around that's what i got from the very start you're very clear was well, this person we'll get onto them in a second but like you feel like this is not going to happen now like there might have been a time when you wanted it to happen where you're coming from now, Libra, is it's it's not just a case of whether you want it or not. Although the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, just talk about desire, and it's that being in reverse. I, this may not be something you even want a bit of anymore. But it's it's just like a more pragmatic approach. So I'm getting it from you of like that's that's not an option. Um, anything else about how Libra is feeling about this person? The Hermit. Virgo energy again that's I feel like you've maybe had some time apart from this person already you've been given the space to maybe spend some time on your own to reflect maybe you also feel like this person needs to find their own way I want to say rather than involving other people for advice on which direction to go with their life anything else wow well, wow. the world came out and the fool is at the bottom of the deck. The world is at the card at the end of the major arcana. And the fool is the card at the very start of the journey of the major arcana. When you've completed that journey, if you have completed it, then you level up and you start again from the fool. So it's it's like this is the end of one chapter. This is the beginning of another. And but the fact that the Ace of Wands is in reverse and I see you moving on as far as you're concerned. This is not the beginning of a new chapter with this person. You feel like this chapter is done. This person that you were interested in has a lot to learn, especially about who to trust. And um, they have almost allowed themselves to be tempted down the wrong path, which has left them in a very challenging situation Um with their security. Anything else? Just want to get one more. How Libra's feeling about them. 
Yep. I mean, it's very clear. <laughs> You're being very straightforward, Libra. We've got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck now and the Nine of Cups. So I don't see this as um, you consider them your Nine of Cups. This is, you feel you had to make the decision to leave this in your past. This was not what you wanted. And you know, the Nine of Cups is like, it's not necessarily... There is another Nine of Cups card, which I'll show you later in the reading, which is more like a, it's it's two people. They are each other's Nine of Cups kind of thing. This Nine of Cups card is like, I know what I want is out there. You know, it might be what you dream about, what you fantasize about, but you know it's not with this person, basically. I think it was difficult for you to make this decision as well. It, but once you got the truth, maybe also you feel like this person is still quite immature about what they they feel is important in relationships and important in life. Um, okay, so that's how you're feeling. Let's move on. So how is this person feeling about you, Libra? We have the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Cups. And <laughs> all cups, very emotional, as I said, um, and that actually adds up to the Ten of Cups, <laughs> which is on the spread later. Um, the Ten of Cups I mentioned is because that's like the be all and end all of like everything you could wish for, the ultimate in happiness and contentment and joy. But the thing is, what a mess. How this person is feeling that they feel so confused with this um, Seven of Cups, uh, really tortured even about it as well. Maybe about how to have a new beginning with you. Because the Ace of Cups does talk about an, uh, the opportunity to start again. Uh, it can also be about um, re a renewal. Or it can be a whole fresh new relationship. Or it's a renewal with someone, obviously, that you already know. There's an existing connection. The fact they also feel the Two of Cups about you, Libra. They feel like the two of you are have this bond that is effectively un unparalleled. Um, the two of you are meant to be together, like your kindred spirits. They feel like you two could be, uh, uh, well, they feel like the two of you are soulmates, that you were meant to meet in this lifetime, you were meant to be together. There's a connection between the two of you that they can't replicate elsewhere. Um, they, this person feels like you're extremely special to them, or well, special in general, but like they won't meet anyone else who they will have that same connection with. Now that all being said, there's just this, what do I do with the Seven of Cups, you know, um, is there's also this sense of what is real, what's not. I get this feeling of like, not about you so much, but just say, they, they, it's like this person feels like they had extremely cloudy ju judgment when it came to this connection, when they came to choices that they have already made. Um, and it's tormenting them now. Uh, let's get some more. Yeah, this one. Tell me more about how this person is feeling about Libra, please. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Chariot in reverse with Justice at the bottom of the deck. I mean, it's like... The Eight of Pentacles in reverse also talks about um, work is not going well for this person. Like Something is not paying off for them. Now, whether it's like a traditional job or it's just what they had been putting their efforts and energies into. Well, it's also, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is also a bit of like a lazy energy. Um, so I'm not necessarily saying this person's lazy, but it's like they could have worked harder or worked better they could have perf been perfecting their craft and if this person was trying to skip ahead somehow like they would try and take shortcuts and to reach a lot of financial prosperity but without putting the work in and it is also the chariot reverse is kind of like that reckless charging forward it's like taking an exam without doing any, like even looking into what the uh, the test is about, like even looking into the subject beforehand and just winging it. Um, 
Now, with justice at the bottom of the deck, it could well be that they feel like they're now reaping the, you know, instead of reaping rewards, they're reaping um, the re repercussions of that behavior, like being reckless, not putting in the hard work, trying to have things. It's, it's almost like someone who wanted instant gratification and also um, just, yeah. And now they feel like they are getting their just desserts for that. It's kind of blown up in their face. Tell me more. Why is the Seven of Cups here for how they feel about Libra? Mm, Hermit and Death. So it's Virgo and Scorpio energy. Um, the Four of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Mm. But the Hermit and Death to come out to clarify the Seven of Cups, they could feel like they are trying to... Um, well, it's funny because you, the Hermit came out for how you're feeling about them, but I kind of got that it, it was that you feel like they need to do some introspection, you know, look into why they are behaving the way they behave, like why they are trusting who they've trusted. Um, this person is very lost right now. They feel all over the place, um, like whether they should charge forward or if they... If they shouldn't, it's like they are lost. They are looking for a lighthouse in this like turbulent, I'm just seeing like um, a sea, like an ocean, which is extremely choppy, but it's like also at night, it's darkness. So they have no idea where land is. They don't know what is in the waters around them. Um, they may also feel like all, all hope is lost potentially with that death combination with hermit, the hermit as well. Like, or is it kind of thing? Like, is this the end truly? Or is there a way to salvage the situation? How are they feeling about Libra? Anything else? Judgment in reverse. Oh my gosh. Judgment in reverse. That's such a... judgment card is like talking about um it's like hearing the call to ascend if you like and it doesn't obviously have to be ascend out of this lifetime it's more like you know do better raise your vibration like leave you know it's time to leave old ways of thinking behind um it's also hearing that that the call to kind of, you know, sometimes you get that message very clearly th through to us of like, this has to stop, or I need to do this, or, you know, if you're in a, a cycle, a bad cycle that you've been allowing to repeat, it's like this message comes through and it's like, this can't go on, this has to stop. And it's like, whether you listen to that, you, you pay attention, or you ignore it and continue doing what you were doing. This person is so confused about what to do. Why are they so confused? Mm, there's the five of wands. Why are they so confused? The hanged man. Mm, uh, so when that hanged man came out, we've got the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the deck split to show the five of swords. Five of swords and seven of pentacles is exactly what I was getting from how you feel about them. That is... Oh yeah, this is a great investment. You should definitely put all your your effort into this. But it's um, it's by someone who has ulterior motives telling them that, or um, they want to win. It's all about their themselves. Someone very selfish, um, with the advice here. If it is advice, it's just like this person felt like they could um, they could get away with something. Uh, whether and it was like, I don't know if they were trying to delay things with the hanged man as well, they were trying to maybe put things on hold with you. Um, 
they thought that they could kind of I don't want to say have their cake and eat it too, but not in like in terms of a, a third party romantic situation. More like a, um, I know Libra doesn't want me to do this, but maybe I could do it anyway and just put Libra off. How can I explain? Okay, so I just wanted to grab this oracle deck just to try and clarify on what what is going on with this person. First card that came out was elusive, which says dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Wow. I don't know if this person was trying to also exaggerate and um, make a bigger deal out of the importance of something or someone else was doing that to them. They were trying to uh, pretend like something was more important than it was. Conflict just fell out, which says clashing differences in compa incompatibility at the bottom of the deck is conflicted. Conflict and conflicted. Decisions hot and cold, multiple choices. Wow, this person is in absolute misery of uncertainty. It's, it's also giving me... Either they were playing games in terms of what they were saying to you to try and... This is like someone who thought that they were smarter then I don't want to be rude, but smarter than they are. I also, they thought that they could um, just... They were, they were playing games that they hadn't completely learned the rules for. This is someone, like, thinking that they can play people off, or, you know... They can do what they want without... Um, repercussions and doing things in a way that is not necessarily honest or responsible but they can get away with it I don't know how else to explain it it's like this person just thought that they were um could escape the rep the repercussions of their actions um I'm trying to explain I can like I can feel this person's energy but it's just hard to put it into words like they I just, I just keep getting. They just thought they could get away with it, and now it's, it's, it's also that they, um, they may have been led down the garden path by other people who were telling them that something was, it was more important, it was so important that they invested in something, but it was, uh, for those people's benefits as well. Uh, they, those people, if they were telling this person that, did not care about this person's life or their happiness or what was best for them. It was purely to use them for their own benefit. Okay, Libra, let's move on. So how is this person viewing you? Here we have the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So they're viewing you that... They're basically abandoned by you. Um, and they're still trying to find out what's going on with you. Um, but they're now like, uh, they're almost like, um, they feel like a, a beggar at your door is what I got. Um, or like, they feel in a weaker position to you and they're viewing you as like, not even that you're complete. They're completely on the outskirts from you. You're not even, uh, opening the door metaphorically to see what they have to say is that they might be they're kind of seeing the situation that they are trying to find out about what's going on with you without you knowing or through other means because your door is barred to them now or you're emotionally barred to them um they're being very sneaky they're either trying to find out about you or they're trying to get a message through to you via alternative means, like in terms of they want you to find out 
this is funny because I was saying you might be finding out that they've lost everything. But it's like they want you to find out. It's like they're trying to get that um, message through to you on the the grapevine somehow. So that it's like, oh, make sure Libra knows what I'm going through. I don't know if they want you to now help them out. Because they... If they're viewing you as the emperor, as because you're coming through as this emperor, strong, secure, financially stable as well, and uh, emotionally stable, maybe they're viewing you as like someone who could help them out, potentially. Oh, I just got that maybe... Did they try to get you on board with something, Libra? Uh, like a plan? Um, because... They saw you as like, um, this is like, oh, Libra is financially okay. They can get on board with me about this. But it was like, it was, if, oh God, I was thinking it was the external parties. But for some of you, it could actually have been them that you found out that they were tricking you to invest in something. It's caused you nothing but grief. Wow. Whew. Anything else about how this person is viewing Libra? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Oof, yeah. So they're viewing you as the Nine of Cups. I was just talking, well, it was a while ago, but I said you're in like the Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles energy. So that's how they're viewing you. This is like someone, I'm not saying they're doing this, but like walking along, or I'm seeing like a dark street um, of like nice houses. This person doesn't live there. They're just walking along the, the street and looking into like someone's home where the lights are on and you know there's nice music playing and there's a fire roar, like on and is it in like a very cozy lovely home and this person's just like peering in from the the darkness and just wishing and just like seeing that lovely scene and just wishing that they were a part of it but they're on the outside um It's like you have already reviewed this person and the situation and just you just like this is not worth it. Um and also this is it was this beneficial to you in any way the situation Libra or was it just to benefit this person? Hmm, okay. So what is this person's current situation? So we have the 9 of cups, the 3 of pentacles and the 10 of swords. Now, this is what I was talking about. Interestingly, both the Nine of Cups cards that have come out about you, Libra, are one person on their own, very content as such. And this is the kind of the Nine of Cups that I was talking about in terms of there can be another side of the Nine of Cups. It's obviously like two people in a, enjoying each other. But it's interesting because, again, the Three of Pentacles talks about um, collaboration, teaming up. Uh, this is like... But I don't know if this has all just suddenly come. They have been betrayed in their situation. The Ten of Swords can talk about. It's a very painful ending, but it can also have an element of betrayal. Especially with this particular card where it's come out. You see how this was actually... Two people were in that boat together at the top. And someone um, got pushed out. And if that is not bad enough, whilst they were holding on to their boat with their hands, the person who was still in the boat cut their fingers off it's brutal i <laughs> think it's from a myth i just can't remember which myth it's from but um so essentially they've got like fingerless hands there because not only did they get pushed out of the boat they were you know in with the person they were collaborating with they were like clinging on for dear life and this person was like nope no you don't um it's brutal but this is uh let's let me just get into this because this is like this person's current situation is giving me that they thought that they were, um, you know, in a sweet place. Everything was going well. Nine of Cups uh, just is like life's going to plan and very happy. Uh, and then sudden ending. Tell me more about this person's current situation. Ooh. Judgment in reverse again. It's a different deck. The 
This person tried to, oh my God, sorry, the chariot just came out as well. So the chariots, I think I've seen it like three times as Cancer's major arcana, by the way. For other major arcana, we've also got Aries. And yeah, that's mainly it. Uh, there's also been quite a bit of Scorpio and Virgo. But this person tried to, uh, they did stick their head in, their sa in the sand about something. Um, and it has come around to bite them in the ass, basically. They refused to see the situation for what it truly was. And they just went for it anyway. Why is the Nine of Cups in the Seven of Cups, there you go. Yep. Seven of Cups. Wow. So the Seven of Cups, obviously I talked about it quite a lot about how they're feeling. Very lost, very confused, like what is up, what is down right now for this person. And I was asking about this the positive cards, if you like, in their current situation of this sense of, oh, this is everything you'll want, that, you know, get on board, collaborate, you know, you'll be so happy, you'll be so content. And then I was like, why is that here? Obviously, there's this sense of this has led to a betrayal and a, a sudden ending. Um, then we have the Seven of Cups. And this is, this Seven of Cups is like smoke and mirrors energy. And also you see how there are Seven Cups there, but there's also a massive beastie and it's like, are you going to actually get the cup that you want, that you are being sold? Or are you going to get your hand bitten off? It's definitely, oh wow. I mean, a lot of deception. This person got sold the dream. I don't think it was necessarily, I'm not getting like a, from a romantic third party. This is, they got sold the dream of like partner up and you'll have everything you want. Whether it's about, I'm strongly getting it something to do about money. Um, and how much they can earn from a situation or how comfortable they would be. Um, when, the next card that came out is the Four of Wands. So uh, this is, Four of Wands talks about, um, it can be a stability, but it's also like structures, like a, a house, a home, a marriage, a, a career as well. Um, it could be, I'm getting more like a house. Someone could be losing their home, um, because of this situation. And then when that fell out, the bottom of the deck was the Five of Wands and the Tower. The deck split to show those two. Mm. I have to say also that now that this shiz is hitting the fan, they're also thinking more about why didn't I hold on to Libra? And I, in like a, I had a bit of a meal ticket there with Libra. Why did I not hold on to them? And I went chasing for this like pot of gold. Um, so it's a combination. It's like they are confused. It's like finding out that your all your closest best friends were all just in a conspiracy to screw you over for their own benefit. That would put you in a bit of like a head spin. But it, it's also making them question what I had with Libra that was so pure and so real um why did i let them go but also because now they're like in a, a very challenging financial situation so and you're not libra but what's coming through here so mm, i'm just saying it like that because it's like uh, you know there is an element here this person is like why didn't i hold on to libra and enjoy the living off their coattails basically hanging off their coattails the action this person's most likely going to be taking towards you next, Libra. We have the Two of Wands that came out twice, the same card on top of each other, and then the Ten of Cups. So Two of Wands, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups. Mm. <laughs> so the first Two of Wands card from that deck kind of talks about someone being very clear um, about the decision they want to make. So if they're feeling extremely confused right now, uh, it seems that they are getting clear about a decision that they what they want uh what direction to go in so if they're lost right now at sea if you like emotionally it feels like they're going to they're going to find the light that they need to follow and then they're going to head towards it very 
determined with great determination <laughs> but this i don't know this second two of ones card talks more about someone feeling like the choice isn't theirs that they're still trapped in some way um and then the ten of cups it could be like they feel like the although they as much as they can make the choice that they want to have another beginning with you libra um and they're very even if they get very clear about that um the choice is kind of not necessarily theirs to make about this is like someone uh, what i'm getting is that this person might because i do see communication um so i'll come to that in a second this is like this person communicating with you and going i am now a hundred percent crystal clear that i want you libra but it's not my choice to make, it's yours. So my happiness is in your hands, is what I'm getting in like a bit of um. It's a little bit, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit manipulative, I want to say. Like, it's like this person is saying, if the only chance I'll ever have to be happy again is if you give me another chance. All right. Anything else for the action this person's going to be taking towards Libra? Six of Wands. The Magician. The Hermit in Reverse. Now, hmm. <laughs> hang on. Why is the Hermit in Reverse? Oh many well the tower is at the bottom of that chunk i won't take all of them because there's too many but the tower had to show itself again why is the hermit in reverse the star okay all right well that's the perfect card to tell me what that's about um as i was saying about I kept getting this metaphor of like this person being out at sea and I was saying they're going to find the light of which direction they need to go in and literally with the hermit card I'll show you upright this is someone in a dark night of a soul dark night of a soul or doing a lot of going within themselves looking for the answers and trying to hold a lantern up to see which direction to go in now the hermit in reverse I was like is that does that mean this person's going to skip doing this as well because I do see an element with this person they like to skip ahead without doing the necessary work um but it can also talk about someone who does the does that looks for the answers in the darkness and then comes out of hermit mode and, and uh seeks um also how can i put i was going to say seeks help from others around them rather than just doing the journey on their own um now with the star that came out to clarify the hermit the star is almost like that guiding light so it is giving me more that this person uh does because currently they're completely lost so it is giving me the message that this person finds the star that they need to follow in the darkness and heads towards that um now with this six of wands and magician energy they well i said it's a teeny bit manipulative and then we have the magician, which is they are trying to make things happen in a certain way so that they get the victory, the triumph, they get the result that they want. Um, it, with that six of wands energy, this could also feel a little bit of um, you could enjoy this slightly. The fact that this person, what this person is going to be saying to you, it could feel like a little bit of a a bit of a win or a bit of like um, like reaffirm to you. Like just it could it could feel good is kind of what I'm getting for you for them to say this. Whether you don't that doesn't mean you have to give them another chance, but it might just feel nice. <laughs> um, maybe you might as well. You might feel that you did the right thing. Oh, this could be confirmation to you that you did the right thing in in kind of you know, putting on your emperor hat and being like, right, no, this is not okay. I'm leaving this in the past, even if it's difficult. So this is like going to be confirmation to you that you, that was the right thing to do. Tell me about the magician, please. And the action this person's going to be taking towards Libra. Jack of 
Judgment in Reverse for the third time, three different decks. I have done so many readings, uh, well, just in general, and I cannot remember Judgment in Reverse. Maybe it probably comes out like once, twice in like six to eight months, three times in the last hour, Libra. Why the Judgment in Reverse? I mean, that does suggest that it's it's a lack of awakening. It's also not accepting reality or... Oh, what, what is this? Why is judgment in reverse? It talks about, like, a lack of growth, to be honest, from all of this. Like, has this person actually grown and awakened to things? Why is judgment in reverse? of cups two of cups oh my goodness okay it could just be he'd be talking about the fact as well that um this person uh they're gonna do what they can for you to make the decision that they want you to make because they it's not their decision to make effectively but it is heavy on the you know that they, they feel the two of cups about you and they're coming back in probably saying that you are their soulmate with that two of cups and also you know like um, you've had past lives together with the six of cups like there's but just it's just a little bit of like the judgment in reverse this is almost like giving me of someone not really thinking through what they're saying just saying it so that um they they also get what they want which is for you to give them another chance um okay so finally what is going to be happening between you and this person going forward from when you come across this reading, Libra, I would normally say the next few weeks, the next month, uh, but there's no time in tarot, so that could be different for all of you. But we have the Eight of Wands, the Magician, and the Knight of Swords. I mean, there's a lot of communication. The Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords both talk about communication, messages flying back and forth. There's also unexpected messages. Um, you might not expect to hear from this person at, or, at all, or otherwise as much as you hear from them. It might not be like just one message one day. It could be a lot of messages. Um, there is also this element of saying something very bold, um, being very direct with the communication. The magician in the middle here, though, these are messages uh, and the conversations designed to um, with a goal in mind. It's not just talking for the sake of talking. This is very deliberate, strategic conversations uh, to... Uh, it's, it's like guiding someone towards the destination that they want to guide you towards. But it's all, almost like they can't just decide that that's the destination you're going to be at, the two of you, because they are in a weakened position in the dynamic between the two of you. So it's like they're going to guide you so that you think it's your idea. Does that make sense? Oh. <laughs> um. So if this does play out as they want, just believe that whatever um, is the goal that the two of you reach, that was their idea from the start, basically. But it's like they are doing this in such a way to like kind of plant plant the idea in your head or to guide you so that you you think it's your idea, but they are getting exactly what they wanted from the start. But they couldn't suggest it themselves. I hope that makes sense.
anything else about what's going to be happening between oh. six of cups and at the bottom of the deck is the magician bearing in mind that's one of the three cards the magician so uh, this person is making a reconciliation happen between the two of you well they're going to be trying to obviously you've seen this now so <laughs> It's up to you, obviously, whether you want that to happen as well. Tell me more. Seven of Pentacles just came out. Wow. Is that really the Four of Wands? Four of Wands in reverse. Ten of Cups. Bear in mind that is in the action as well. Just a moment ago, the same card. Why the four of wands in reverse? Well, there's the eight of wands. So <laughs> the eight of wands is also one of the three cards. So seriously, a lot of communication incoming. It's going to be happening soon between you and this person, Libra. I, I don't not, don't say that unless there is a clear indication and it couldn't be clearer. There's going to be conversations between the two of you. But I mean, with the with the four of wands in reverse, the other two cards that came out was the high priestess and the star. Sorry, the, the high priestess is nude in this deck. So there we go. Mm, ten of swords. Yeah, I, I thought that that was the gist. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, this is a tricky one, Libra. Obviously, it's about what you want to happen with this person. But basically, the what the cards are saying, what's going to be happening is this person now wants you to let them back in, uh, potentially. This could be like their end goal. I mean, I feel like I know what it is. I feel like their end goal is for the two of you to be living together. But as in they want to come into that lovely setting that they're like metaphorically like seeing in the darkness through your windows, seeing how lovely your life is. They want to be a part of that. Um, they're probably not going to be... I don't know if they're going to tell you, to be honest. But and part of this is because they have lost either their own home or they've lost their stability and security and they see that things are going very well for you and they want to get on get on that um what does this person want to happen what's what's this end goal that i keep getting that they they are guiding libra towards but want libra to think it's their own idea so what is that end goal else yeah i knew it i knew it <laughs> so the first card that came out was the knight of swords which bearing in mind that is also here knight of swords um knight of swords is uh, in this deck as well it's bold thinking but it's also in this deck it's uh the the sword is split in half so it's actually like seeing it can talk about seeing things from another perspective, also changing changing your mind about something. And then the Nine of Cups came out, which made me chuckle because I was just talking about how they want to be in that um, lovely setting that they're looking through the window. I remember when I was talking about how they're viewing you, I was saying that they're looking through that window and seeing you like this. So, yep, yeah, literally. And then the last card that came out was the King of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. I was just saying about how this is all because their Four of Wands is now in reverse. So essentially what they, the goal that this person is going to be working towards with all this communication, uh, Libra, is that you change your mind. You, you think, actually, my lovely Nine of Cups contentment 
needs to also involve, include this person. I need them to be happy rather than you're already happy the way you are. So, and also that for you to now see them as king of pentacles, very secure, very long-term, very like reliable, um, has a great career, has their finances in order. Um, for you to consider them all of that way and probably why don't you move in with me? Well, we could look, we could look towards marriage, etc. Um, but I would just advise caution because a lot of this is to do with this person's situation, which is the catalyst for them wanting all of this with you. Um, but they want it to be your idea because they, they feel like it's not, up, it's, it's not their place to decide this because they've lost all integrity with you at this point. So they want it to be your idea that they, uh, and also I'm getting like, you know, if this person's in a shitty situation financially and then they they don't feel like they can get away with coming to you and being like, so I lost all my money, can I move in with you? Um, because you'd probably be like, uh, no, I feel like you'd just be using me, so no. But if they come to you and they talk about other things and it leads to the point when you go, oh, you know what, you should really just move in with me. Like, oh, really? Oh, well, if you insist, um, that's what I'm getting for you this time, Libra. Interesting message. Very. I hope it, you found it interesting. I hope it was useful for someone out there. Thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the th uh, thumbs up button for me if you haven't already. It just takes a second and it means the world for the channel and the video. So thank you for doing so. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would love to have you. So please do. And if it resonated for you at all, please leave me a comment and let me know. I wish you all my best. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.